Hey yo, this is a follow-up to yesterday's tutorial video. I really wanted to add to it. One of my goals for this channel and for these tutorials is to be very beginner friendly. It wasn't too intense with information, but I could have done a better job of showing examples or like actual settings or the camera screen. So that's what we're gonna do here. I just wanna clarify a few things and actually show the screen and some of the other effects. So let's take a look. So this number right here is the shutter speed. I've gone over it before in a previous video when we were looking at like freezing motion and stopping the motion. Most of the time when you see it, it'll be one over another number. Like here it shows one over 50. This number is in relation to seconds. So this is 1 50th of a second, which sounds pretty fast. Photographers at sporting events are probably using a extremely fast shutter speed because it's freezing the motion or the action that the athletes are doing. Also for child photography, you usually have like a fast shutter speed because the, the kids are always moving. And so even if it's just like a little head move and it's a slow shutter speed, it's gonna come out blurry. So you want it sharp, high shutter speed. But what if the subject isn't moving? Does the shutter speed matter? Maybe not, maybe it does. Besides the motion, it also affects the light and the brightness of the image. Here we can see as I increase and make the shutter speed faster, you can see the, the light in the scene is getting darker and less. When I make it slower and lower, the image is getting bright and almost too bright here. And so this is becoming a long exposure. Just like I said in the original video, the shutter is staying open for this long. So right here we have it at five seconds. So it's we click it and it's open for five seconds. Whatever the light is hitting in the image while the shutter is open, that's what's gonna be coming out in our photo. For this last image, I took the picture, had the shutter speed at four seconds, so it's open. And then with my loom cube and snoot, I was painting which parts I wanted to come out. You don't always have to like paint, it could be static too, depending on the light, but I really like this effect. I really wanted to get in between them and the wall. So because the shutter's open the whole time, like I'm moving, Rex, Trooper, Trooper, background. And that's the image. This long exposure is also used for the little sparkler trick. If you've seen that, like a New Year's or something, you have it open and then you draw or write like a name or a shape. That's because it's open and the sparkler is the light and it's drawing, boom, that's long exposure. So it is a cool effect. It can give something like this where I, I had a little light and I was passing through while the shutter was open. I wasn't really going for anything here, but you can see the potential and different effects. I've seen some cool photos that, that utilize this. The only light I had was that back orange light and then my little light shining. So it was dark. It was dark, dark. And then as far as the other settings, I had my ISO at 100, and then I had the aperture at f5.6. So the key things when light painting or doing this long exposure is make sure it's dark and make sure your light isn't too bright. Uh, you can see, like you should be able to see on your camera how it's gonna interpret the light because sometimes it can easily get blown out, especially depending on how long you keep it on the subject or if you're moving fast or not. And also you need to keep your camera on a tripod because if it's not on a tripod, it's gonna give kind of this like blurring effect because it's not still and it's kind of moving the light, even if the light's not moving. And it kind of looks like a ghost effect. So it could be cool if you're going for that, but most of the time, like you're not. So it really does take some practice and just figuring out and messing with the settings. I hope I was able to explain this a little more clearly and just better. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm always willing to help or learn new things myself. And until next time, Go create and inspire. Peace. Hello.